Hello everybody, Killer Winston here, and today I will be doing with Deku was Tristan part 19. So, in the last part, Deku just went to I Island, and well, I can't summarize the entire part in a few seconds because the last part is about an hour long. So if you want to know what happened in the last part, just watch the last part, it is on my video. Now continuing the story, whenever Deku got back home and opened his store, he would have thought, what's wrong with me? Why do I feel so strange? As that was when Inko would have rushed in saying, Izuku, dear, you're back. Her seeing Deku's confused face would have asked, Uh, Izuku, are you okay? Oh, hi mom, yes, I'm fine, thanks for asking. Him entering his house and putting down his stuffs. And as Deku was unpacking his things, he would have continued to think of a reason why he is feeling so different. After unpacking, Deku, who's tired, confused, and starting to, well, smell, Deku would have went to the bathroom and took a shower. But whenever Deku was taking a shower with the water flowing down his face, he would have thought about what happened on that tower on I Island. Him seeing himself burning someone alive right in front of him while laughing. Deku thinking, what was that? As after taking a shower, Deku would have just walked to his bedroom and fell on his bed, him falling asleep a few seconds later. With Deku having a dream, him being right in front of his elementary school, Deku being confused, he would have looked around as that was when he would have heard a voice. It saying, Why well, hello there Izuku. Deku immediately turning around and being scared since last time he trusted this voice, he turned crazy or twisted. Him immediately backing away and falling onto the ground, him yelling, it's, it, it's you! Of course it's me, Izuku. Who else did you think it is? Katsuki? Who, who are you? Who am I, you ask Izuku? Well, take a look around you. This is the place where we first met with each other. Don't you remember this place, Izuku? Deku looking around and realizing that this is the place where he first awakened his darkness powers. Him saying, uh, I do. This is the place where I first awakened my darkness powers, right? Bingo! And guess what I am? You're covered in darkness. How should I know? Are you really that dumb, Izuku? <sighs> Let me tell you then. I am you. Just darker. And more twisted, you can say. With the darkness covering that dark figure disappearing. It revealing that it is just Deku made of darkness. Deku seeing that, he would have of course been confused. Him saying, what? what? As just as the dark figure, or should I say, dark Deku is about to say something, that was when a bright light would have been shining throughout the entire place. With Deku being blinded by that light, he would have used his hands to cover his eyes. And whenever Deku opened his eyes again, he would have found out that he is in a different place. Him looking to his front and seeing the light figure. The light figure seeing... Hello there, Izuku. How have you been? Deku being even more confused, he would have just said, Uh, I'm okay, but just 
very confused. Can anyone please explain to me what in the world is going on? Why of course, Izuku. What would you want to know first? First off, where am I? Oh, this is the place where you first awakened me. Wait, what? Deku looking around and realizing that this is UA's infirmary. Or just the place where he first awakened his goddess powers. Oh, okay. Second, who are you? Oh, me? I'm you, but just a lot nicer. And a lot more caring, that's all. With the light particles around that light figure disappearing and revealing that it is just Deku but made of light particles. Or just light. But again, before Deku can say anything else, that was when some darkness would have creeped out from the corner of the room. It covering half of the room and turning it back into the place where Deku first awakened his darkness powers. With Dark Deku walking out of that place. Him saying, Did you really think you can escape from me, Izuku? With the light figure, or a light Deku saying, Izuku, get behind me. Oh no you don't. As Dark Deku would have thrown out a whip which is made of darkness, it wrapping itself around Deku's right arm. Him pulling on the whip as Dark Deku would start to pull Deku towards himself. Light Deku seeing that Dark Deku is basically trying to take Deku, he would have also thrown out a whip, it made of light. As that light whip would have wrapped itself around Deku's left arm. Him also pulling on the whip to try and stop Deku from being pulled into the darkness. Dark Deku seeing that, he would have just said, Let go Light, he's mine. No, if I let go, then Izuku is going to be under your influence. Yeah, you said that right, my influence. What's wrong with that? Everything is wrong with that. If Izuku is only under your influence, then he is going to change and become cruel, twisted, and crazy like you. Oh, don't say that. It's not that bad. It is that bad. As Light Deku and Dark Deku would just continue to argue with each other, while trying to pull Deku towards their side. With Deku being caught right in the middle, he would have had enough. Him yelling, ENOUGH! BOTH OF YOU SHUT UP! And as Deku yelled that, the world around all three of them would have immediately broke. With those whips that were wrapped around Deku's arms disappearing. Deku, after yelling, would have saw that Light Deku is on top of a dark background, with Dark Deku on top of a light background. Deku being confused and feeling sorry for basically destroying their world, he would have said, Uh, sorry? Dark Deku saying, of course you should be, Zuku. You broke down the place we live in. I know, I know, I'm sorry, okay? Light Deku saying, Actually, that's fine. We could just create another place to live. Wait, you can? Aw, oh, why did you ever tell him that, Light Bastard? You ruined my fun. Look, Dark, if we lie to Izuku, then he is never going to trust us. <laughs> trust. No one here needs trust. The only thing we need is spirit strength. <sighs> Changing the subject. Izuku, do you have any more questions? Uh, yes. A lot. First off, I know that you are me, but... 
Why are you here? Well, the thing is, we are. As before, Light Deku can finish explaining, Dark Deku would have said, We are your powers, dumbass. Wait, what? <clears throat> More specifically, we represent your powers and your emotions. Dark over here represents your negative emotions and your darkness powers. Me, on the other hand, is the opposite. I represent your positive emotions and your light powers. Okay, but that still doesn't explain why you're here. Um, as Dark Deku would have said, The thing is, our little Izuku, light and dark, cannot cooperate with each other. You should already know this. Master Zeldris already told you about it. Yes, he did told me about it. But how did you know about it? We are literally the same person. How would I not know about it when you know it? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <sighs> you stupid. As I was saying, light and dark cannot be mixed together that easily. We are mortal enemies, and we are constantly fighting with each other, even as we speak. Wait, how are you fighting each other when you're talking to me? Just look up, our little Izuku. As Deku looks up to find that Dark Deku and Light Deku are currently fighting each other. Them basically punching each other and either throwing Hellblaze or throwing Light Particles at each other. With Dark Deku continuing to say, And the reason for us to constantly fight against each other is you. Me? Of course is you, our little Izuku. Wh why me? As Light Deku would have said, You see, Izuku, light and dark are basically the same. The only difference is that one is light and the other is dark. Meaning that we are very balanced. But the only person that can tip that balance is you, Izuku, so that's why we are constantly fighting over you, because we always want to have the upper hand on the other. And when we do have the upper hand on the other, we would be able to take control over your body and do whatever we want. For example, last time you sided with Dark over here, meaning that Dark is able to take control over your body, which he did. Yeah, Izuku, thank you for siding with me. It was so fun. Um, sure, but if I don't want you to take control anymore, what do I do? Oh, that is easy. Just change your emotion from positive to negative or negative to positive. That will give the upper hand to the other side, so that he could fight back, and regain balance. Just like last time, because you saw Thalia right in front of you, your rage and anger turned back into happiness, and causing Dark to lose his advantage over me. Oh, is that easy? Yeah, it is. As Dark Deku would have said, well then, our little Izuku, I guess our time here is over, but we'll meet again very soon. Deku being confused with Dark Deku walking closer to Deku, him putting his hand on Deku's shoulder as he would have whispered, Now is the time to wake up! And that was when Deku would have woken up from the dream, him gasping for air and, well, being confused as to what happened. Now, let's just...
time skip to the next day, with Deku going to school. And whenever it was time for the first lesson, Aizawa, who just came into the classroom, would have announced to everyone that they are going to have a training camp next week, to which everyone is of course excited about. But while everyone is talking about what they are going to do, Dahlia would have noticed that Deku is a bit off today, her asking Deku if he's okay or not, which Deku would just reassure her that he's fine. But in reality, Deku is trying to figure out how he can stop his emotions from getting out of control. As Deku found out that he should utilize both of his powers instead of just one, i.e. his demon powers. And to do that, he will need to master or well learn how to use his goddess powers. Meaning that from now on, he would try to use his goddess powers more than his demon powers. Now, that will be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. That will be amazing, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!